Hi and welcome to BPS TV. Today we're looking at the GoPro and the Karma Grip. Let's start off with the GoPro first. So to properly compare, we normally compare it to the predecessor, which in this case is the GoPro Hero 4. The GoPro Hero 5 comes with slightly larger build, but that's due to its weather ceiling, which can go down to 33 feet. Because of this, you don't need GoPro's waterproof housing, which makes it easier to control the camera and the touchscreen interface. The Hero 5 offers such resolutions as 4K, 25p, 2.7K at 50p, 1440 at 80, 1080 at 120, and 720 at 240. The Hero 5 also offers a wide selection of viewing angles. They are super view, wide, medium, linear. Linear is a funny one because it corrects the typical distortion you find with most GoPros. GoPro Hero 5 also offers voice activated commands such as GoPro on and take photo as well as start recording. There are some impressive new features on the GoPro uh, but twin this with the Karma Grip and it becomes a great tool for shooting. So the Karma Grip, for those of you who don't know what the Karma Grip is, it's GoPro's latest product in the gimbal market. This handheld device which can be mounted on either a chest harness or handheld offers stabilization on a GoPro Hero 5 or 4. Both cameras mount easily just by sliding into the place and then connecting by the terminals. The Karma Grip has an internal battery which also charges the Hero 5 when mounted. This should give you probably about let's say one and a half hours to one hour 45. With the camera on the start of the grip is only a couple of seconds. It's nice and easy to use, you've only got four controllable buttons, you've got the power on, record button, flag for tagging clips, and tilt lock. As mentioned, you can attach the GoPro Karma onto your chest harness or other mounting options, just by this additional clip which comes with the Karma.